You are about to meet the youngest American woman to make an Olympic marathon team in almost three decades. And it was Molly Seidel's first ever marathon run, believe it or not, that landed her a spot in Tokyo. Now, she's just about 24 hours away from racing for gold. And News Force John Chandler is here with Molly's story. John? Adam, Molly Seidel's a national champion distance runner, but that distance had never been 26.2 miles. And with the Olympics at stake, in college, that kind of pressure took a toll on her mental health. So becoming an Olympian now isn't just about winning a race. It's a sign that Molly is in a good place. Molly Seidel isn't one to waste an opportunity. In the first marathon she ever raced in, she finished second. An incredible performance. Qualifying for the Tokyo Olympics. Ever since I was a little kid, this is like the only thing I've ever dreamed about doing. That was in February of 2020. Within weeks, as COVID spread, Molly knew her dream would have to wait. Going from, frankly, one of the best days of my life to the entire world shutting down two weeks later, it was a shock. Yeah. It was hard, but at the same time, there was so much really difficult stuff going on in the world. It seems a little selfish to think like, oh, but this is this is more important. Perspective, she has learned, is everything. I was lucky enough to be able to get in the Olympic trials at the beginning of 2020. The way she saw it, there was an extra year to train, running races like the New York Roadrunners 10 in Central Park. You look at people who have been nurses throughout the pandemic and people who are really dealing with difficult things and being like, okay, like the Olympics are postponed, not canceled. Molly approached the pandemic like a distance run. Slow down, pace yourself. She learned this the hard way in college. Five years ago, I was at probably the lowest point I've been in my life. Of course, you'd never know it, watching her run. So she's lapping her teammate. Seidel was a dominant distance runner at Notre Dame, a four-time NCAA champion. But she struggled with her mental health and an eating disorder brought on by the immense pressure to win. Running was one escape. Advocating has become another. Someone who's in that same place that I was in five years ago, I'm hoping that maybe my story will be able to give them hope that it can get better and hope that they'll be able to come through it and that even Olympians still struggle with this kind of stuff. Olympian, just saying it, Molly smiles and runs back in her mind the moment she qualifies. Molly Seidel gets second. Like it was yesterday. I think that's going to be with me my entire life. There's no feeling like crossing the finish line, holding the American flag and knowing that you just made your first Olympic team. Just incredible. Molly will run for Team USA in the marathon 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. She would also like to run in the New York City Marathon, too. And she will, of course, continue to advocate for mental health. Adam, she had hoped to run in the Olympic trials in 2016. She couldn't do it because her body was so weak from the eating disorder. Her bones were actually breaking as she ran. She had oh. to recover. She went and sought treatment, got help. And she says for anyone in that similar position, lean on your family. That's the message she has. It's good advice. She's been through so much. It's going to be emotional to see her compete. We can't wait for that. And 